Hey YouTube fans, this is Nate at quick-unlock.com. I'm going to be going over how to root your Evo 4G on 2.3.3. So I have one right here. I'm just doing one of my friend's phones to, for this guide. I'm going to click on software version. I know it's probably not seen, but it's 2.3.3 here at the top. You're going to want to make sure you have an SD card in the phone. Let's go ahead and go to Menu, Settings. We're going to want to go to Applications. Make sure Unknown Sources is checked. Go to Development. Make sure USB Debugging and Stay Awake is both checked. Plug the phone in like I have, how I have here. The drivers will upload to your computer. Make sure the device is set to charge only mode. That way it actually runs the root process itself. Here we have unrevoked and alpha presents revolutionary. Revolutionary is used for most HTC devices to root. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom here where it has downloads. Click on the download for Windows. What it's going to do, it's going to give you a download. You know, I have the program right here already. It's called Revolutionary. Operating system is Windows. Your device, you're going to want to click on the HTC Evo 4G. It's going to ask you the H boot version, which you can get from the Revolutionary file right here. All right, it's notifying me that it's on Supersonic 2.16.001. So I'm just going to click on the version here, 2.16. It's going to ask me for the serial number. The serial number I can get from Revolutionary also. Here's the serial number here. I'm just going to go ahead and go to Edit, Mark. I'm going to highlight it and just copy it. The reason why I'm copying it is to make sure that it comes through perfectly paste generate this is what's called a beta key you're going to input this beta key into revolutionary to run the root all right let's go ahead and highlight it menu edit paste enter beta key is accepted zergian root Now I'm going to go to the device. This can actually take a little bit of time. Give it a, give it a couple minutes. Welcome back. The device has already started. It's sending in, it's cleaning up. Now it's waiting for the fast boot to come up. Boom. The device is booted down on its own. Now it's actually being put into fast boot mode. There we go. It's going to reboot it a couple more times in fast boot actually. It's going to probably go through this process I think three times. Now it's going to ask you do you want to install clockwork mod? You do if you're going to want to flash any custom ROMs to it. So we're going to go ahead and hit yes. And that's pretty much it. Very easy route, easy to get through, should have no problems at all. Success, and that's it. Guys, have a great day. Thank you for watching. This is Nate at quick-unlock.com. If you enjoyed this video, please rate, subscribe. Also, you can follow me on Twitter for more upcoming videos.